Thank you. I'll go ahead and start the Instagram. Getting everything going together. Bands are on. Sips of water are had. Hope everyone's doing well. All right. So yesterday we had what I call kind of an all over functional workout. Uh, and we're going to do a similar thing today. So there's not going to be a specific focus on cardio or anything in particular. We're just going to do a body weight, full body workout. Got Instagram going, got Zoom going, talking to two different screens. Um, all right, so let's get all connected. And bands are on, brains are on, cycles are going. Let's come up to stand. Uh, and for those who are joining on Instagram, my name is Laurel. I'm based here in Santa Monica, California. Uh, and we do these workouts every weekday at 3 Pacific. So got my cycle going. There we go. All right. So let's start warming up the arms a little bit, extending the arms out by the sides. Think cactus or scarecrow arms. You can stand however you want. Uh, and I'd like you just to start rotating at the shoulders down and up. Doing this is to start to warm up the shoulder joint, keeping the elbows in line with the shoulders, working through that range of motion. Good. And this is not any strength-based exercise, just to warm up the body. Awesome, let's take four more. Good. Noticing that the elbows aren't getting droopy. They're staying in line with the shoulders. Last two. And one. Now start to work the arms opposite directions. Press back. And switch. And switch. And switch. And should this, this should be working the joints. So it should be a little bit intense. We have four. Three. Two and one. Go ahead and give the shoulders a shrug. Release them. And slightly extended upper body warm up today. I want us to take 30 seconds of inchworms just to start to really get the blood going in the upper body. So walking to the back of your mat or your workspace, we're going to start to walk our hands down, walk all the way out, and then walk all the way back up. Touch your toes, come up to stand. Come down, walk it out, and walk it up, and roll up. Good. We're already half done, just a couple more. And last 10 seconds, we'll take our final one. All right. Come on up to stand. Our first exercise today is called forearm fireworks. And so we do these to activate the muscles of our form. And so I take my arms up to the sides and I want to think of my fingers as being fireworks. So I extend out, pull them in. Fully extend to the fingertips, slowly pull them in. So we have 40 seconds. We're doing two rounds, 40 seconds per round. This first one, we're going to work really slow. So my palms are facing back behind me. The top of my hands is facing forward. First 40 seconds, let's get going. We extend out very slowly, just to slowly curl the fingers back in. Extend out, curl them in. And I want you to really work here. And I call these fireworks because we want to fully extend to the fingertips and then draw them back in. So maybe firework fist. Good. And we're starting with our baby muscles, so really isolating just the forearms here. Awesome, half done. You can feel that cycle starting to work. Yeah. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, our second set of forearm firework fists. We're gonna do fast. So go ahead and extend your arms down by your sides, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Next 40 seconds, we're going in four, three, two, and one. Out and in really fast. Yeah. 
And as you're doing this, really extending through the fingertips the whole time. So none of this small stuff, out, out, out. That's it. Forearms should be burning. That's what we want to see. Half done. Small movement, might look silly. Feels pretty intense with those bands on, at least for me, last 15 seconds. As many reps as you can possibly do. Yeah, we have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it down. Drop down to your hands and knees, tricep push ups. Now, I encourage you to try doing these on your knees before coming up into plank. The difference between a tricep push up and a regular push up is in a regular push up, my elbows play slightly out to the side. On a tricep push up, I want my elbows to point directly back and I press back up. So if I were doing this head on, instead of my elbows coming slightly out, I want them straight back. Your arms stay flush with the sides of the body the whole time. So if you want to come off your knees and do these, they look like this drop down, push right back up. Okay? So make your way into your position of choice. Try set push ups. We're going into three, two, and one. Go for it. Drop into it. Elbows stay in line with the body and push back up. Cool. Good. Nice. Clinton, get those elbows in. Yeah, there you go. We've got Kaziah today. Thank you for changing the name. Now I understand. <laughs> Good. Last 10 seconds. Go, Chris. Go. Yeah. Burn them out. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job, gang. Roll out the shoulders. And we have about 10 seconds rest, and then we're going to drop right into our second set. All right. Go ahead and set yourself up either setting up the knees or coming back into plank. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Drop into it. Press up, down, and up. And the goal here is to do as many as possible, keeping our nice, good form. And everyone's form is looking great so far today. Now, the reason I suggest dropping the knees is because these are very hard to do without sagging your hips. So keeping good form, half done. Drop down and up. Down and up. Keep going. Tricep push ups. Last seven. Six. Give me two more. Five. Four. Awesome tie. Three. Two and one. Rest. Good. Everyone hop on up to stand. Quick tricep stretch. Right arm across the body. Switch sides, left arm across the body. Release the arms, bicep curls. So feel free to adjust your setting here, okay? We're not, not fully supporting our body weight. We're just isolating that one muscle. So if you wanna kick it up a notch, now's a good chance to do that. Elbows pull into the midline of the body. Make fists. We're starting in five, four, three, and two. So nice and slow to start, up and down. Uh-huh. Good. Squeeze those muscles. Try and get your fists all the way to your shoulders if you can. Oof, yes, that pull at the top. Good. Awesome. Last 15. Keep squeezing, keep working. We have 10. Maybe do two more for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake them out. Second set, we're going for speed, as many reps as possible. Now, got to keep your body in good form. None of this, none of this. We're going to start up again in four, three, two, and one. 40 seconds, pump it up, up, up. Get those biceps going. Feel those bands working. Yes, making fists as you do this to really squeeze every muscle in the arm. Oh, I kicked up my cycle and now I'm burning out. I like it. Good. Up and up. We are half done. Keep pumping. If you want to go even faster, go faster. Yeah. 
Woo! Building muscle mass. And up. Last 10 seconds. Give me all you got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Bicep stretch. Cross the hands. Lengthen it out. Little pulses. Pinkies up towards the ceiling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Next exercise, forearm plank, walk up. So we're keeping the upper body stable. I'm coming down into my forearm plank. I walk my feet up as high as I can, and I walk my feet back into plank position. Walk my feet up towards my elbows, and walk it back down, okay? So make your way into forearm plank. We're starting in four, three, two, and one. Time is rolling. Jump into it. Yes. Go, Gabe. Awesome. Good. And each time you do this, I want you to challenge yourself more, walking your feet even closer to your elbows so we can add a lot of weight to our shoulders using our own body weight to work the exercise. Cool. Have fun. Nice. Awesome, Lily. Last 10. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit. Maybe do one more for six, five, all the way up. Four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Let's stay on our forearms for a little bit of spine stretch. As you inhale, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, dome the upper back. Three more. Inhale, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, up. Exhale round. And last one. Good. We meet with a flat back. Step back into forearm plank. Second set in three, two, and one. Walk it up. Walk back down. Good. And you can go for speed here, but I really want you to try to get your feet as close to your elbows as you can as you walk it up. So we're weighting the shoulders out. Great. I like it. Nice. We're also getting a hamstring stretch. And last 10 seconds. All right, let's add a little speed. Get moving. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Make your way up onto your hands. So we're working our way up. This is our last exercise for the upper body. I think it's our hardest one of the day for the upper body. Uh, and then we're gonna get our heart rate up. So yesterday we did some work in bear where we hover the knees. We're gonna come back into bear today. It's a bear push-up launcher. I'll show you. So I come into bear, I drop into a normal push-up, shift my butt back, shift it forward. Push up, knees stay off the floor, shift back, shift forward okay so let's come up into bear position time is going in five four three and two push up shift the butt back forward drop into it keep going it's a lot of control over the body if you cannot do it with your knees hovered off the floor you can do it with your knees on the floor good and it's hard to do a push-up in bear i think it's hard yeah, what your experience is. Oh, these look great. Nice. Good. Keep those knees off the floor the whole time. Last 10. Good. Give me two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your knees. Give the wrist a roll. Release them. Quick stretch for the wrist. Extend your right arm forward. Drop your fingers towards the floor. Take your left hand and gently press the fingers down. The whole time you're doing this, I want length from the shoulder to the wrist. Yeah, let's switch sides. All right, drop your hands to the floor. I'll get us going with these together. Tuck your toes, lift up into bear. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Push up, shift back, shift forward. 
drop down, shift back, shift forward, keep going. We're already 10 seconds into it. Look at us go. After this, we get to come up, get our heart rate up, and then we're gonna swap out our bands and have the question of the day. Mm-hmm, good. Doing our best not to let our butt pike out. Awesome. Keep it up, keep it up. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone hop on up to stand. Our three cardio moves of the day. Grab some water if you wanna sip here and just watch me demonstrate. We'll take them together in a moment. The first one is a star jack. We get small, we go out, in, out, in. If you wanna get really crazy, you can leap, leap, okay? 30 seconds of those, 30 seconds, we come down, mountain climbers, 30 seconds, we hop back up, high knees, okay? So we're starting with star jacks, we're gonna come down to the floor, then we're gonna come back up. 30 seconds of each, we're gonna start with star jacks, in five, four, three, and two, out and in. Yes, feel free to fly. <laughs> Good, pick up that pace. Yes, last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Mountain climbers, 30 seconds, here we go. Get those knees up, move nice and fast. Woo, breathing through it. <laughs> all right, last 10, give me all out. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hop on up. Last 30 seconds, high knees, let's go. Good, and I have my hands out in front of me at an angle, and I'm trying to get my knees up to my hands. Half done. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, I'm out of breath. Good job, gang. Swap out your bands, arms to legs. And our question today is, this one's a little selfish for me. Uh, out of all the workouts we do, so we have our normal full body functional, that would be like what we're doing today. We have our cardio, like we did Monday, which was just pure cardio, circuit, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Fast, fast, fast. We have our strength, minute intervals. And then we have our other circuits where we go through a set of exercises and repeat it like four or five times. So out of all the workouts we do, and if you can't remember the different ones, it doesn't matter, which ones do you like best? Just so I can continue to be mindful as we go forward programming life. So go ahead and swap out your bands. Give me some answers in the chat or unmute yourself. I always like the feedback. Which style of workout do you, even if you don't prefer it, you know it's probably best for you and you want to keep doing it. Chris says, oh boy, we're getting all kinds of answers. Okay, I'm excited. Instagram, feel free to shoot me a note if you have a preference on your favorite kind of workout. All right. Steve, I like watching people do high-paced aerobic exercises while not doing it. Gabe says mobility or strength are the best. Chris says mobility, especially the stretching. Huh, okay. Chris, Steve likes the question of the day best. Okay, so I'm seeing that we like some mobility stuff. Interesting, that's fun, because that's some of my favorite stuff too. Uh, bodily control. Anyone else? Chris's favorite. Okay, mobility, strength. What else? Clinton says strength. Okay. So far, we're not such fans of the cardio. We like building strength. I kind of had a hunch. 
just from watching everyone do it. All right, any other answers? So strength and mobility or sitting on our butts and doing none of the above. Sophia says the non-cardio circuits. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I says strength and mobility. Okay, so everyone just hates cardio. Good to know. All right. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, cardio is my least favorite too. So we're all on the same page. <laughs> the jumping, it's just not the most fun. All right. Well, mobility is a really fun one. And that's something that we can incorporate a lot more of into our workouts. So thank you everyone for the feedback. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and get working into our legs. So we're actually going to start the legs today. Our warm up is going to be standing balance. Um, but we can think of standing balance is actually mobility because mobility is how well we can control our joints and also how good of a range of motion we have of our joints. So in the name of joints, let's start working with the hips. Um, so go ahead and shift all your weight into your left foot. Pull the right knee into the chest. And if you want to grab onto something, you can here. Open that knee out to the right. Now start to rotate the knee down towards the floor without letting your hips wiggle. Pull your heel into your butt and bring it back up. So it's four part moves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's take a couple more. Now notice the rest of my body does not move very much as I'm doing this. I open out, I drop the knee down, I pull it back and up, out, down, back and up. So I'm in hip uh, flexion, external rotation, internal rotation, hip extension. Last one, flexion, external rotation, internal rotation, extension, and rest. So sometimes some of those movements are really hard, especially getting the heel up. That's mobility. So that's how well we can control our leg in our joint or range of motion. So let's work into the other leg. All the way into the right leg, put that left knee up. Good. We open out. Drop that knee down, pull the knee back, pull the knee up. One, two, three, and four. Out, down, back, and up. Let's take three more. And last two. And one. Awesome. All right, give the hips a circle, release it. And let's keep working into our standing balance. So we do a lot with legs out to the sides in our practice. And we do a fair amount with legs up. Let's continue to work legs back behind us. Think a lot of glute, a lot of hamstring strength. Go ahead and step your right foot back. Take a bend into your left knee. Little kicks up and up with the back leg. And you know what? We're actually going to do these for time. So we're going to take 40 seconds here, just starting with standing balance. Then we're going to work into our calves. Don't fret. We usually do balance last. Today we're going to do it first. Good. And as you get stronger, you can take a bigger bend in the left leg. You can even hinge for, forward further to give you more space for range of motion. Nice. Good. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Set the right foot down. Extend the left leg back behind you. Bend the right knee. 40 seconds. Get that leg up and up. Good. You can continue to bend into the right knee. And you can also continue to shift your weight forward. Nice straight spine. Good. Keep going. Yeah. 
Awesome. Half done. Try and keep the back leg straight. I don't care what you do with your hands. Uh-huh. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Looks good. All right, now let's work into that and use that to work our calves. So go ahead and step the right foot back. Keep the right foot back and start to lift your left heel up and off the floor. So let me angle this down a little bit so you guys can see. Ta-da! Okay, so my right foot's back. Now we're starting to work into our strength-based exercises for our calves. So first 40 seconds, I get my left heel up, down, up, down. So working into the front calf. There we go. Good. So I'm in a lunge-like position. And I'm just working the front leg. Half done. And remember, you can always scoot that foot further to the left if balance is proving troublesome. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. Step the right foot forward, left foot back. Ideally, we're on the toes of our back foot, not our heel, because it requires more balance. But if you need to drop your heel down for stability, it's cool. All right, 40 seconds. Here we go. Right heel up and down. Now I'm creating traction with my feet. I'm pushing my right foot forward and I'm pulling my left foot back the whole time I do this. Nice. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it one more time. Left foot forward, right foot back. Come into a lunge position. All right, we're going in four, three, two, and one. Left heel up and down. Awesome, keep going. Good. And you can take a bigger bend into that front knee. Sink even deeper into it to make it harder. Fantastic. Good, half done. <laughs> Last 10. Nice, George. We have four, three, two, and last one. Switch feet. Take a big bend in that front knee. 40 seconds. Here we go. Then we're going to get the heart rate up and move on to our strength-based exercises. Good, drop the hips even lower. Yeah, there we go, keep going. Uh-huh, last 10. Amazing, we have five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, come on up. First 30 seconds, star jacks. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Get small, pop it out, in, out, in. We're rolling. Awesome. You can go a little faster if you're feeling it. Last 10. Then we're going to drop down for mountain climbers in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Mountain climbers, 30 seconds. Here we go. Yes. My arms are working. My legs are working. My core is working. Everything is pumping. After this, we're going to take a sip of water. After our cardio, that is. After mountain climbers, we have high knees. Yes. 11, 10, all out, 9, 8, 7, 6, summit that peak, 4, 
three, two, and everybody hop up. High knees, last 30 seconds. Get them up, get them up. We're running to the finish line. All out, all out, half done. All right, last 10. Give me everything you got, man. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Water all around. All right. Our next exercise is a half burpee snap jump. So I come up to stand. I drop my hands to the floor. I jump out. I jump halfway in, out, up, rise, down, out, halfway, out, up, rise. So you're skipping the push up. You're jumping all the way back, halfway in, all the way back, then we come up. So let's start them together. Start to make your way on to your mat, standing. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Hands down, jump all the way back. Halfway in, back, up, rise, down, back, halfway, back, all the way, rise. Keep going. So the snap jump is that little jump in between when we jump up halfway. Yes. Don't stop now. Pick it up, pick it up. Last 10. Give me two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody at the stand. Nice, kick it out, kick it out. All right, walk to the top of your workspace. Second set in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. If you wanna add a little jump at the top, go for it. Nice, Kazaya, yes. Go team, go. Dean and Sydney look good. Lily looks great. Ooh, gee. Keep it up, keep it up. Fifteen seconds. Give me as many as you can. We'll get a sip of water after this. We have ten, nine, eight, seven, six, two more, five, four. Three, two, and one. Two was ambitious, but we did it. Good job. Grab us some water. All right. Strength and body control balance. Reverse lunge or reverse step to curtsy step. So I drop into it. I keep my body really low. I step my right foot back. Reverse, hover, curtsy, hover. Reverse, hover, curtsy, hover. So, to show you going forward, left leg, pick it up, reverse, hover, curtsy, hover, back, down, one side at a time, extreme strength, we are burning out the right leg, okay? So go ahead and come down into that position. We're going to start with the left leg. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Reverse, hover, curtsy, hover. Reverse lunge, curtsy lunge. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Do your best not to let your left foot touch the floor. Burn that right leg out. Give it everything you've got. Keep dropping your hips lower and lower. Do not straighten your right leg. Yes, that's it. Good. Good, that's it, good, uh-huh. Amazing, I love it. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come up to stand, kick it out. All right, we're going right into the other leg in four, three, two, and one. Pick your right foot up, reverse lunge, hover, curtsy lunge, hover, reverse, 
curtsy. Get that back knee down in both positions. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want with your hands to keep stability. Do not let your left leg fully straighten though. Keep the bend in it. Stay low. Stay even lower. Now we're talking. Last 10. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hips. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Kick it out. We're doing one more set. Then we're going to get the heart rate up. We're actually going to come down to hands and knees for some more specific, slower, smaller movements. All right. Right back into the left leg. Hover the foot off the floor. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Reverse lunge. Hover, curtsy, hover. Back and side. Back and side. Yes, awesome Instagram. Good job, Zoom. Half down gang. Last set on this leg. Let's make it great. Good. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last set. Pick that right foot up. Here we go. Reverse lunge, curtsy, back, side. Stay low. Keep that body down the whole time. Yes. Woo, feel those bands working, feel your body working. Mm-hmm, 15 seconds. Good catch off the wall. <laughs> we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come up to stand. Good, second heart rate boost of the legs. We have one more after this, two more exercises in between. If that didn't make any sense, don't worry about it. Star Jack in four. Three, two, and one. Get small. Here we go. There we go. Bend those knees. Get low. Last ten. Whew. Get those arms and those legs going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Mountain climber, drop it down. Let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. Yes, keep the body stable. Keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. We know we get to come off the arms. Yes. Whatever you have to do to keep going, whatever that pace looks like. Mm-hmm. Twelve. All right, give me all out sprint. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody up. High knees. And I just noticed I'm moving my hands. I'm cheating. Got to keep my hands straight. There we go. Half done. Get them up, get them up. Last 10, all in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Water all around, please. After this, we are going to slow down our workout a lot and really isolate our glutes and our hips. So the first thing we're gonna do, once you grab your water, we'll take a couple seconds. When you're ready, start to make your way down onto hands and knees again. The first 40 seconds, we're doing a donkey kick. So what I want you to make sure you do here is you pick your heel up, pull it in towards your butt, cover your right knee off the floor, kick it up and back. And actually give your foot a little flex. And sometimes we tend to straighten our legs here. So I want you to keep pulling your heel in towards your butt the whole time we do it. We have 40 seconds on this side and then 40 seconds on the other side. After that, we're gonna do what's called a fire hydrant. So I hover my knee off the mat, I kick out to the side and center, side, 
and center. So we have a 40 second set of each leg donkey kicks and then a fire hydrant. Now, what's gonna happen is your elbows are gonna wanna bend. So you're doing this leg, this arm's gonna wanna bend. Both arms straight the entire time. Keep good form. So we're working here and not here, all right? Pick your right knee off the ground, pull your heel into to your butt. First 40 seconds, up and back. And these ones start slow. If you want to pick up the pace, you can, but I don't want to see your back dipping at all. I want it really flat, so keep your core engaged. Keep going. Imagine you're squeezing something in your knee crease, knee pit, whatever you want to call it, the whole time. Keep those arms straight. Good. Keep pulling your heel in, pulling your heel in. Awesome. I love it. Good. We're already half done. All right, last 10. Pull the belly button in even more. Protect your spine for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the left leg. Pick that knee out. Pull your heel into your butt. Time's going. Other side. Good. Keep your arms really straight. Push the floor away from you. The only thing moving is that back leg. The rest of the body is so still, stable, and strong. Ooh, these start out really easy and then they get kind of hard. Nice. And last 10 seconds. We're going to take a quick rest in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Pull your butt back to your heels. Take a quick break. And then shift the weight forward again. This time we're going to go out to the side. So I'll come to an angle so you can see. I pick my right knee off the mat. I go out and down. Out and down. Notice my elbows do not bend. So let's go ahead and start in four, three, two, and one. Out, center. Out, center. Yes. Now, for obvious reasons, these are called fire hydrants. And make sure that your left arm stays straight. Now really squeeze your hip and get that leg up even higher. Simple movement, not necessarily an easy movement, especially with the band. These are great. Mm -hmm. Half done. It's interesting how some movements like squats are so easy for some people, yet these are so hard. It just depends on the body. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the other leg. Go right into it. Time's rolling. Up and center. This time keeping your right arm really straight and strong. Or whichever arm is opposite the leg you're moving. Nice guy. And if you're noticing that this is absolutely horrible and it is so hard, then we really, really need to do more of this stuff because this is hip strengthening, one of the biggest muscle groups in the body, and it's so important to keep them strong to support our backs, our legs, and everything else we do. Last 15 seconds. Plus, it's only one set of these. We can do it. We can do it. Fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, terrible. Roll your wrist out. Come on up to stand. All right. Take your hands to your hips and circle them around. Release your hips. We have one more exercise to do for our lower body. And then we're gonna get our heart rate up one more time. And then we're gonna come down and do two rounds of our core today because core is actually my favorite thing to do. And it's so important to keep our core strong to support the rest of our body. So our last strength-based exercise of the day is squat forward kick. So my arms are out, also known as zombie squats. I come down, kick, squat, 
kick. I want to see those legs all the way up towards your fingers. Your arms stay in line with your shoulders the whole time. Up. Squat. Woo. All right. Try not to round out the spine or arch the spine on the kick. None of that. Okay. First 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Zombie squat. Kick. Yes. Nice, George. We're keeping the weight in our heels, so we want to make sure that our heels don't lift the whole time we do this. Get even lower into those squats. Come on. That's mobility. I like it. Good. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Shake it out, kick it out, move it out. Second set, 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Now get low, kick up, even lower, and kick. Focus on how low you can get your butt towards the ground. Yes, get those legs even higher. Use your core. Nice. Good. And the whole time we're doing this, we're making sure our arms are straight and stable. So we're using the muscles of our core and our shoulders to also support our upper body, even while we're getting lower body. Last 15 seconds. I like it. I'll jump in for the last 10. We'll do them together. Kick. Down. Up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We are standing. Last heart rate boost of the day. Star jacks in three, two, and one. Out and in. Good. Stay low the whole time. Half done. Last eight, seven, six. Five, mountain climbers in four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, 30 seconds, climb it out. Yes. Whew. Oh, Keziah is flying, go girl. Come on. Quentin, yes, yes, yes. We're gonna have such strong hearts. Woo, Chris is pumping, yay, yay, yay. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Everybody up. Last heart rate boost of the day. High knees. Get him up, get him up. Woo. All right. Ten seconds. Full out sprint. We have nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> All right, we're ready to come down for core. So actually, instead of 30 seconds twice, we're just gonna do a minute of each exercise. And it's gonna burn, it's gonna be hard. Do as much as you possibly can. It's a total of three minutes of work. Okay, we can do it. The first one is bicycle to heel touch. So I come down, I cycle, cycle, reach, touch. Cycle, cycle, reach, touch. Okay, so I have a minute of that. After that, I have a hollow body flutter kick. One minute of this, making sure my back is flat, no arching. And the last minute is hands over head, reverse crunch. My palms are on the floor. My fingers are facing away from the body. I'm lifting up and down. Okay? So the first minute, bicycle to heel touch. We're going in three, two, and one. Cycle, cycle, reach back, heels. Cycle, cycle, reach back, heels. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, 
take this slow. It's a full minute of the exercise. It's hard. It's supposed to be hard. I want your core to be on fire. We're going to take 10 seconds rest between each exercise. We have 20 more seconds of this one. Cycle, cycle. Get those heels. Work your abs. Mm -hmm. 15. In 10, we're going to pull the knees into the chest for a quick rest before we do our hollow body flutter kicks. We have five. Four, three, two, and rest. Pull the knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Good. Reach your arms back. Bring your arms down by your sides. Lift your head, neck, and shoulder. Extend your legs out. One minute. Flutter kicks. Now, if this gets to be too much on your lower back, you can extend your legs further up towards the ceiling. And as you're doing this, I want your gaze to be in towards your belly button so the back of the neck stays long. Yeah, nice long legs. And it can be slow. I mean, it's a whole minute of this. It doesn't have to be that fast. Breathe through it, breathe through it. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you can make those flutters even smaller. I know we're dying, half done, keep going. Use your core, use your core. Press your back down, press your back down. If you need a rest, extend your legs straight up towards the ceiling, then drop them right back down at an angle. Keep working. 20 more seconds. Use the breath, use the breath. Last 10. Give me all you got. Reach those fingertips down towards your heels. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Knees into the chest, rest. Oh my goodness, you guys are smashing this. That was so hard. All right. Last exercise of the entire day, and then we are done. Reach your hands back behind you. Root them into the floor, fingertips facing away from your elbows up to the ceiling. One minute, reverse crunch, up and down. Get as high up as you can. Woo! Come down nice and slowly. Already 15 seconds in. Good. Get those legs nice and straight on the reverse crunch. Oh, yeah. Half done. I think this one's easier. I think the flutter kick was the hardest one. At least it is for me. Great job, Instagram. Great job, Zoom. Great job, Steve, watching everyone. <laughs> 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Give me three more. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and pull your knees into the chest. Give yourself a big old hug. Rock side to side on your back. Rock and roll yourself up to sit, then hop on up to stand. Take a forward fold, pedal out the legs. Shake your head, yes, uh-huh. Shake your head, no, no more cardio. Take a little bend in your knees, roll up to stand. Good. Reach the right arm up and over. Sorry, reach the left arm up and over. Switch sides, right arm up and over. Come back through center. Hands across shoulders three times. Nice wide legs. Hinge forward. Rise on up with a straight spine. Hinge into it. Straight leg, straight back. And up. Last one, hinge into it and hold. Extend your arms back behind you. Keep dropping your belly button low for four, three, two, and rise on up to stand. Reach your arms up, bring your hands together, give yourself a round. All right, so the people have spoken. The workout of the day tomorrow is going to be strength-based. That means longer intervals. It's gonna be hard work. And we're gonna do awesome, because we always do. Nice job, everyone. Thank you.